If you're my age, if you were a kid in the 80s, you'll remember the Cabbage Babies. The Cabbage Babies were a big fad in the 80s. They were sweet, lovable, nothing offensive about the Cabbage Babies. But back in the 80s, we also had trading cards called Garbage Pail Kids. They were like the Cabbage Babies with attitude. That's a lot like sauerkraut. Cabbage is mean little cousin. A little salty, a little bit of sour, and a little bit of stink. Sauerkraut's like cabbage with attitude. <laughs> it's June 21st. It's getting pretty hot. These cabbages have pushed through the heat well. Some of them are ready to harvest. This one's starting to crack. We'll harvest him first. Take that home. This one's starting to crack. We'll take him home for kraut too. Homemade sauerkraut is super simple to make. It's two ingredients, salt and cabbage. I've brought home four nice cabbages. Let's turn them into kraut. Chopping station. I'm gonna use a scale to weigh the cabbage and use 2% by weight salt, airlocks, glass followers to weigh down the cabbage in the jars, mason jars, a packing tool, and the salt. I almost forgot, I use this tool to suck air out of the jars. Cabbages are washed, and all the outer dirty leaves are pulled off. This will go to the chickens. You can chop this as coarse or fine as you want. That's how I chop it. Take out these coarser pieces, chop them up a little finer. Remember to save some of these outer leaves. I'll put that in the top of the mason jars. Okay, that's a full bowl of cabbage. That was about one and a half cabbages. Now I'm gonna weigh it. What? If you don't have a scale, don't worry. You don't have to weigh the cabbage for the salt ratio. I looked it up online and the standard that people use is 2% by weight. You should be able to taste the salt, but it shouldn't be overpowering. It should taste good. Seven hundred sixteen grams. Seven forty six grams. Five seventeen grams. That's a total weight of one thousand nine hundred seventy nine grams. At 2%, that would be 39 grams of salt. Thirty-nine grams of salt, that's two percent by weight of the cabbage. Now I'll mix in the salt and knead the cabbage. You can use whatever kind of salt you want. I would just make sure it doesn't have anti-caking agents in it. This salt We'll take the water out of the cabbage. That'll make a brine. Start smashing it up. The 
break those cell walls. I like to work in layers. It's easier to mix the salt. Salt's taking the water out of the cabbage. The volume of the cabbage has gone way down. There's some of our brine. We'll let this sit for a while. At the beginning of this video, I said sauerkraut only takes two ingredients, salt and cabbage. If you stuck here this long, I'm gonna give you the third magic ingredient. You wanna take these sweet, beautiful cabbages and turn them into the nastiest kraut, we gotta put a little meanness in them. We're gonna put some nasty and some meanness into our kraut with harsh words and some abuse. Who do you think you are, cabbage? You're worthless, pathetic. You couldn't even make a slaw. Now you're gonna become nasty kraut. Come on, get with it. Mean. It's hard to do, but if you want the best kraut, it's necessary. Salt's done its job. Cabbage is brined up and we got the meanness in it. Time to pack the jars. I'll leave about that much head space. Now I'm gonna use some of these outer leaves to pack the top. Those cabbage leaves help to keep the kraut underneath the brine. Now I'm gonna use my glass weight or follower. And the airlock cap. Tighten that on. We'll suck out all the air. Make a vacuum in there. And there it is, a beautiful jar of kraut. Where's the brats? If this video is helpful to you, like and subscribe. Thanks for making kraut with me today. I'm gonna let this jar sit and ferment for two weeks in a cool, dark place.